Today I've got something a little bit different to review and this is a Dean Tyrant Michael Amott model. Michael Amott, for those who are not aware, is the lead guitar player or I should say co-lead guitar player for the band Arch Enemy. The other lead guitar player being Jeff Loomis who has a signature Jackson model, I believe. But this is the Michael Amott Dean Tyrant. You make the Dean Tyrant uh, in a, a few different paint schemes or design schemes I should say. This is the blood splatter model. This is the Chinese version. Uh, they do make USA Deans. Uh, the Chinese version is about maybe 350 on average which is not bad for a guitar of this quality. It was uh, I was very impressed with the build quality of this thing. Uh, the U.S. version is about $3,200 list, so, so there you go. It is quite a polarizing shape. Not everybody will be into this design for the headstock or the body, but I'm an Arch Enemy fan. I think it's pretty cool, and I thought for the price I'd give it a shot. If you do notice, I uh, replaced the pickups. These are Seymour Duncan Black Winter pickups. I had these pickups in a different guitar that I wound up... Uh, I wound up getting rid of trading it in on something else and decided to put these Black Winter pickups into this guitar and uh, it fits the style. So this is a decal, clearly they put a decal on this to give it this blood splatter appearance. There's a few other styles that you can get in this, this model. I think my favorite is the one that's uh, sort of an industrial, just chrome silver version that's pretty awesome. Uh, this has a tunematic bridge, string through body. I like the way that the, the decals got this marble appearance to it. I think that's kind of a nice touch. Yeah, so I mean, hey, if you're a, a metal guy or you're doing a Halloween gig or just something unusual, this guitar, this guitar is pretty cool. One thing I don't like about this is the input jack is back here. And I think everyone just tries to be different when they, they come up with their own signature model. Like, hey, put the input jack here. And uh, I don't know. I Personally, I mean, the input jack needs to be right there. You can't sit down with this guitar. you got to stand up with it. If you do sit down, you got to put your leg through this V area. And that gets in the way. So, bad idea. I guess you could use an elbow jack. But, I mean... That, that was a bad choice. Small details like that, I'm just pointing out, in my opinion. But uh, the guitar was made uh, pretty much flawlessly. Everything was set up good when I got it. The uh, frets weren't very sharp on the edges. I had to condition the neck a little bit. So, uh, so yeah, let me flip this thing over. We'll take a look at the other side. Okay, so here's the back side. Nothing too surprising. There's the control uh, plate for everything. I'm not going to open it up. It's just, you know, basic basic Chinese knobs in there. The small little knobs, you could replace those, I suppose. But if it's not broke, why fix it? It's got a little bit of a bevel around the edge on the body. That's, that's pretty cool. All the hardware's black. Strap button on the back is right there. That's pretty cool. Got the, got the Dean logo on the plate. The other strap button is back there. That was a good idea. String ferrule shaped like a V, kind of matches the body. That's aesthetically, that's pretty cool. The neck is unfinished. I'd say there's a little bit of oil on it just to give it a little bit of a satiny feel. It's got these black Grover kidney bean tuners. I love kidney bean tuners. They're very easy to grab and tune, and uh, these things stay in tune really nice. There you go, made in China. Uh, neck pocket, neck socket there's everything was real tight. So uh, yeah this is a pretty pretty well crafted guitar and uh, just a funky shape and a little bit of a different style for you. So let's give this thing a sound test. There's shut up and then there's shut up and then there's SHUT UP! <laughs>